90s back in our neighborhood. Uh, standard tuner today, E A D G B E. We all know this. We should know this if we don't. Um, I kind of give you a, uh, two different rhythm parts of how they're doing it. A couple guitars going on. Uh, and then main, mainly the, the, the lick that goes in between it and the opening lick. I absolutely love it. So uh, let's get right into this. We're going to be on the second string A here. We're going to be on the second, in the second position too. And we're going to go two to four to two to open on the A. And that's that little opening lick. And we'll also throw that in between in a couple of other areas too. So you. <laughs> take my boost pedal off. I was playing with a boost pedal going through my Fender bass breaker as usual. Um, so. And then we'll go to a D chord. And I'll go through all the chords real quick and then we'll go over it. So we're going to go to a D chord which uh, working from the bottom strings up will be 2, 3, 2, open. Try to mute off these top two strings. It's the E and the A. And then from there we're going to go to like an E. Well not like an E, an E. Uh, I usually tend to mute out the top E. You can play it open if you want, um, but it'll be open or muted. Two, two, one, and I'm trying to mute out and not play the bottom two strings on that one. And then we'll come here uh, to uh, drawing a blank, not a B. Anyways, um, we'll be two on the E and four and four on the A and the D. And then after we strum that a couple times, we'll kind of just slide back up into that E that we played. So all together, it's. Then you can go into the muting process, which just lay the back your back your hand up while you're kind of strumming out the chords. Not totally lay it, but lift it up, lay it down, and then obviously once at the end for your last strum, kind of just lift it all the way up so you can kind of hear them coming out. And then uh, we'll go all the way through that, and then we get into the chorus part, which I just play like a an A minor, or an, I should say a power A. Um, where I'm kind of thumb muting out the top E, open two, two, and not trying to play these bottom two again. Back to that D. Back to the A. Back to the D. And back to your ending, just like the verse. That kind of runs you through doing it. The beginner style, I almost want to call it the beginner chords. Uh, we can also play it uh, almost the major way, <clears throat> where you'll be down here and once again, mute up top E and we'll be fifth on the A, seventh on the D and the G. I'm going to use the same formation, just want to hear the three strings that we're holding down, kind of want to use that C formation where we're muting out these bottom two here. We're going to run that down here to the seven, nine, and then nine, eleven, and then back up for the opening part. So. In between and at the beginning, uh, it's on this. We'll go to the top E here, seventh, and we'll go seven, nine, seven, and then open. And then for that one on the chorus, what we'll do is we'll come up here to the fifth on the A, and then seventh. Uh, uh, fifth on the E, sorry, seventh on the A and the D, and then drop that down, back up, and slide all the way down to the 9, 11, using that same form formation. I like doing it because you can do the upper part and then come down here and do that part and everyone's wow he's doing the same song doing it in different positions just you know kind of fools the eye even though we know it's all the same just in, anyways different positions uh as usual any questions comments down below now subscribe please subscribe this is what we do lots of 90s lots of 90s um besides that having fun here in the garage <laughs>